You already know what it is, man. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey! Look, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I know a lot of y'all come to my channel just based off searching, you know, YouTube and stuff like that. Make sure you hit the notifications button as well. Come join the family. Let's build this channel together. Look, everyday struggle. This is the aftermath show of Eminem dropping his album. And guess who is not on the show? Joe Button. Of course, he's not on the show. You know, he just had his baby over the weekend. So, of course, you know, congratulations. But, man, look. You know all of us was waiting to see Joe Button on the show today to see what he got us to see if he gonna keep it real about the Eminem album. I haven't heard the album. All I heard was a couple tracks that he released. But based off of the uproar on social media and all of the stuff that I'm seeing, the album was not received well. Now let's go ahead and get into it. Academic says straight up, the album is garbage, it's trash. Thumbs down. This oh man, look. And they, oh yeah, they got DJ Who Kid in there too. And come on, man, it's another biased person. DJ Who Kid actually works for Shade 45, which is, you know, Eminem's radio station. So come on, man. <sighs> Eminem asked him straight up, look, where, where do you rate his albums, man? Including this one. And he completely dodged the question. If you watch it, he dodged the question completely. I'm like, man, come on, man. How come? This is what I'm starting to learn, right? This is what I'm starting to learn. It's hard for people to separate knowing Eminem personally and critiquing his music. For some reason, it's hard for people to separate the two. I guess Eminem must be a super great dude. And, you know, everybody love Eminem. So when he puts out a project that is subpar or, you know, not up to the standing that people think, they don't want to criticize it. So does that make that person a yes man? Does that make that person a yes man? To where you can't give honest feedback on a project or music, or is that gonna damage your relationship with that person? So it makes you think even deeper into the subject like, okay, well, if I can't criticize this person, why not? You know what I'm saying? Like, how, do, how are you gonna grow? How are you gonna benefit being in a, a friendship with a person? I should be able to keep it honest with you and you should know that I'm coming from a loving place that I'm only trying to help steer you in the right direction, right? I mean, that's just me coming off the top of the head thinking about why is it so hard for people to separate Eminem being a great person and Eminem putting out music that's possibly garbage. So that made me think too, like, man, like what's going on behind the scenes? Like, okay, Eminem signing your checks and stuff like that. That's cool, but he can't take no criticism. So yeah, man. That, I, I was just waiting to see Joe. He did not show up today. I know y'all was waiting to see him with me. But look, man, we're going to have to wait because I think he he out the whole week. So, look, they also hopped into the Nicki Minaj joint. She had dropped a comment about the whole white rapper thing. It's great to be a white, you know, white rapper, rap, you know, nowadays, looking at the top 10 charts and stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and skim over that because I really wasn't watching this episode for that. And, um... But I definitely don't think Nicki Minaj is a controlling black woman. I definitely don't, don't think that. You know what I mean? I think she was just stating the obvious at that moment in time when they sent her the screenshot. Oh, yeah. But Nicki Minaj on this new ASAP Ferg record, though, she went completely crazy. Like I always say, I never question Nicki Minaj's rapping ability as far as her delivery and all that type of stuff. She's one of the best rappers in the world not just you know female rappers she gets on tracks with dudes and body dudes you know what i'm saying so Nicki minaj period she always get my respect when it comes to rapping ability delivery cadence all that type of stuff of course some of the stuff can be kind of repetitive and stuff but i mean some of the greatest artists do that sometimes but yeah that new asap ferg record i definitely gotta go check that out she bodied that joint and um xxx man locked up over the weekend seven new felony charges or i don't know if they felonies but seven new charges ah oh, man it's not looking good for him man he he's he don't have a bail so he has to be locked up until the end of the trial so let's just say he's locked up now they get done with the verdict and he's uh you know getting sentenced to jail or prison or whatever he's still gonna be in there like he not getting out basically like, so all the shows and all the stuff that he got coming up now, 
canceled. You know what I'm saying? And it's just crazy because, you know, he was popping. He, you know, his album did great. You know, social media, people really love him and stuff like that. But Joe Budden kept telling academics on the show, look, man, he can't keep acting like this or they're going to snatch him up. So he posted, I think, uh, some court information. His fans got on, started calling him, calling the court people, calling the judge in particular. The judge got off of the case, was scared, got death threats, and then boom, he locked up. So look, man, it's your boy Laid Back. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button, the notifications button. Let's grow this channel. I appreciate y'all. Until next time. Hey!